Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. Today we have a surprise video that even Rachel doesn't even know what we're doing. Is it a good surprise? I think so. Is it like an organ meat surprise? No, it's not One an organ meat. One of those meats. surprises? No. Is it like there's a new animal living here that I didn't know about? That's surprise. coming after KetoCon. No. Yes. No. So, today we're going to review the Primal Noms oh. Mug Cakes. Okay, so it is not a bad surprise. No. This is a good surprise, and we will open these guys up, I guess, right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So in our keto crate for the month of June, also in the keto box, mm -hmm. which we got that and we recorded opening the box, going through everything. I don't know what happened. And then somehow in the transfer from the SD card to my computer, I lost the file. It went bye-bye. I put that, I when I went to make that video, I went into the, the folder for that video and it had the keto crate you know, like file in it. So, sorry. Sorry. No keto box opening this month. And it was a good one too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but that one did have this as well as the keto crate. Mm -hmm. So this is the Primal Noms mug cake. And what happened was- they kind of crapped on it. They, it came with a chocolate one, which I actually don't even have here. All right. Um, it came with a chocolate one and we kind of crapped all over it without tasting it. And what we crapped which, over it was the price. Which is great. It's a great way to judge stuff, right? right. Is don't taste it first right. and just make a judgment. Yeah. So we actually crap more on the price than anything. We probably shouldn't yeah. be saying crap, but that's okay. Sorry. Um, yeah. We, we really had an issue with the price. Yeah. And that it was just a chocolate mug cake. And it's like anybody can make a chocolate mug cake with a couple of ingredients, right? Okay. Of course, this is Rachel speaking. Well, so even like, you've made a chocolate, you've made a mug true. cake, right? We actually yeah. have a video on so easy, even Rachel could make it. That's true. Okay. But... What happened was that night I opened up our Instagram and um, the owners sent us a message and said, hey, please give us a shot. Yeah. And um, she was like, we have other flavors that are a little bit more difficult to make at home. Yeah. She's like, also, we're using allulose as a sweetener, which a lot of people don't have at home. No. And so I was like, absolutely. And so she sent me three other mug cakes. Awesome. And we're going to make one of them. Okay. Because we are still in cut down to KetoCon. Can't eat three cakes. We can't eat three cakes. Dang it. Um, and so one of the other things that we did before we even get into what she sent me um, that we kind of crapped on right. was the nutrition. So when you looked on the nutrition label, for example, I'm going to take this one here, this peanut butter one. Mm -hmm. The nutrition label says there's 450 calories in it and there is 40 grams of fat and 18 grams of protein, or 16 grams of protein and 30 total carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't know, we were like, is that just the powder? Right. But it's not. She said she did clarify that that includes adding the, the oil and the eggs. Okay. Okay, or the butter and the eggs. Mm -hmm. And so I did make a suggestion to her that like when you reprint these, like put that on there. Yeah, do like you a like, prepared. Either, yeah, either like have this say like dry ingredients with the nutrition and then next to it saying like prepared as directed. Yeah. You know, where you can have two different, but do something, but somewhere indicate that on here. And she said they are going to do that. That's awesome. Okay, so we have three flavors that she sent me. All right. We have lemon. Okay. We have mocha mm. and we have peanut butter. Now, um, she also put a little card in here. So, um, oh, this is just a, a way to enter to receive free mug cakes. I like and, that. And uh, the owner's names are Matt and Allie. It's a husband and wife. Hi, group. Matt and Allie. So, okay. So, and they're made out of Colorado. Okay. So, she told me the lemon is her favorite. Okay. Well, okay. let's go with lemon. So, let's go over the nutrition on each one of these, though. Okay. So, the lemon one. Before you move, UPS is coming. Okay. We're back. Do I need to be concerned about what just got delivered to our home? Probably, but do you want to know? Do I, I want to get no? I got an action camera so that I can videotape you like on a bicycle 
and like maybe taking you disc golfing. Oh my lord. What next? Let's get back to it. Let's go back into these. Okay, so like I said, she said her favorite flavor is a lemon, so we'll start with that one. Okay, I'm going to let you read it because I can't read it. <laughs> okay, so the ingredients are almond flour, allulose, coconut flour, poppy seeds, crystallized lemon, which is citric acid, malic acid, lemon oil, and lemon juice, sodium bicarbonate, salt, stevia leaf extract. Um, as prepared, okay, it is 420 calories for this guy. 39 grams of fat, 11 grams of protein, 23 carbohydrates, but then you have three di dietary fibers that so brings it 20. down to 20, and then 16 grams of added sugar. Is okay, so doing? here's the thing. So allulose is a um, sugar alcohol, mm -hmm. and however, up until almost like in the last few weeks, the government has made them list allulose as a sugar even oh. though it is a sugar alcohol okay so, so you can deduct that out so now i know they are changing the law so that they'll actually be able to list that as a sugar alcohol mm -hmm. but most labels when you see someone allulose it's you're going to look like sugar and it's not sugar so when you see allulose somewhere on here they're going to have something that's going to tell you how much allulose that is in here so She's got in here, there's 16 grams of allulose. Okay. So they're okay, saying so it's four net four carbs. Four net carbs. So there's 16 cake. grams of allulose. How much total sugar? So 17 total sugars. Mm -hmm. So which means there's a gram of sugar coming from some other places, probably the poppy seeds and uh, like the lemon juice. So okay. no bad ingredients. No bad ingredients like. at all. Okay. So the way you do this, and just let's look at the other ones. This one's 450 calories. All right. And what is that, 40 grams of fat? This is the peanut butter. So, of course, it's going to be higher in fat. And this one's 400 calories okay. for the mocha. And so this one is four net carbs, and this one is two net carbs. Okay. And this one is 28 total carbohydrates. This one is 30 total carbohydrates. Wow, big so, difference. Well, it's the allulose. Well, yeah, well, and okay. it's, you know, peanut butter flavor. I kind of expect more stuff. Okay, so on. we're going to make the lemon one, right? All right? So it says directions in here, milk, two tablespoons of butter or oil in a mug, crack one egg into your mug, pour in your Primal Noms mug cake, mix, stir well, microwave for one minute to one minute and 30 seconds. All right. Okay, so do we want it gooey or not gooey? Gooey. Gooey. Always gooey. So we're going to go prepare this and then we'll be right back. Okay. All right. You came back with cake. I came back with cake. That's it always a good, good thing. Okay. So the mug, we, again, we make all of our mug cakes in ramekin. You ready? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this cake is 30, uh, 28 total carbs or something like that, right? <laughs> so we can't even eat a half of this. Nope. It looks good. I smell lemon for sure. Do you? It's very moist. Sorry, kids. It's very moist. Okay. You well, said you it ready? again. You know we're not supposed to say that. Okay. That's going to be about it. Yep. Wow. That is really good. That has a very nice lemon cake flavor. What I really like. Wow. Again. Wow. You can see in here, look at how it's like very spongy. I mean, you can hear it. Let's see if you can hear it. Can you hear it? I that? can hear it. I don't the, Unfortunately, the AC is running, but. It's pretty moist. It's never unfortunate that the ARCE is running. <laughs> so one thing I would say is, like, they are not stingy, if you can see in that, in the poppy seeds. I no. mean, look at the amount of poppy seeds that are in there. And it tastes very lemony. It, it is very lemony. It's got a I don't nice know what tartness. the other flavors taste like, but that flavor tastes good. Very true to a lemon poppy seed. So you want to put this through our five things review? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. Uh, we talk about number one, the ingredients. Number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Number three, how does it taste? Number four, how much does it cost? And number five, would we recommend this? Yes. Okay. So number one, the ingredients. So Great ingredients. Oh. 
Nothing terrible. I, I kind of cheated ourselves. Look, oh. there's still some stuff left in there. Extra poppy seeds down in there? Oh, wow. Oh, oh well. There's still more. Well, it was very good. It was very good anyway. So number one, um, does it, how do the ingredients? The ingredients in this are really good. I mean, I'm glad to see that the government is finally stepping up and letting them list allulose as a sugar alcohol yeah. instead of a sugar because it just eliminates confusion. It does. Um, allulose is still a new sweetener on the market. So there's not a lot known about it, but it is zero on the glycemic index. And Keto Connect did do that incredible like sacrificial yes. tasting of all of the different sweeteners. I'll leave a link for that over Rachel's head. Thank you, Keto they, Connect. Because I'm not willing to do that. Yeah, no. where they went through and tasted all the sweeteners and checked what does it do to their body. Yeah. And so allulose didn't do anything, but it is a newer sweetener. But other than that, all the ingredients in here are really good. Yeah. If I wanted to knock anything, would be I'd love to see them put like it was organic. Okay. Okay. The other thing that, and again, I mentioned it, it and front. she did say to us that she is going to do that, is changing this label for the ingredients and for the nutrition label. I guess that's really number two, right? Does I do keto... like their logo. Speaking the logo is really cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So, let, let's put that to number two. So, number two, does a keto based on the nutrition label? Okay. And this is where I was saying that if I want to knock that, it's change this nutrition label to include like – the prepared. The, the prepared cake. Yeah. Right? Because when you just look at this nutrition, I tore this one off. When you just look at this right here, you're thinking that's just the powder. Yeah. Because that's what most people would think. That's what's in here. Mm -hmm. So if they could change that, yeah. But based on a prepared cake, I think it ketos. Well, and yeah. Oh, absolutely. Except for the total carbs, if you're a total carb person. And also, I would like to see like what just the powder is because different people use, um, you know, different oils and stuff. Yeah, because again, that's great point. Because and the if eggs I, are I different. Used, I used butter, mm -hmm. okay? But if you use coconut oil, you use two tablespoons of coconut oil, that's going to bump up the calories. Yeah. That's another reason that it's really important to me that you put, put the dry ingredients and then put like as prepared with butter or as prepared with oil, but specify that. There's even a small difference between like pasture raised eggs and Yeah, two calories, eggs. two yeah. calories per egg. So Something different. Yeah, so, but overall, based on prepared according to this nutrition label, mm -hmm. I believe it ketos, except for if you're a total carb person. Yeah. If you're a total carb person, like that's it. Like for example, this peanut butter one, it is 30 total carbs it's really beyond our fridays even yeah because it is it's the sugar alcohol is what's getting you it's yeah. just a lot of sugar alcohol mm -hmm. you know this one's got 20 grams of allulose in it but if you're a net carb person if you're a net carb person four total good. carbs i mean i would probably cut this in half i mean honestly i would just cut this in half as a dessert right now if it wasn't for the fact that we're in cut down to keto con <laughs> so but overall i don't think it's bad no you know again but you know it's going to be a treat for us yeah Okay. Uh, so number three. Number three. How does it taste? Tastes the very lemon good. one tastes really good. Mm -hmm. We haven't tried the other ones. We certainly can't right now. We will eventually. Yeah. I mean, but it was tasty. It tastes just like lemon poppy seed. If you like lemon poppy seed muffins, you'd probably really enjoy it. And this um, is definitely one I can see where she was saying to me, like, don't judge harder. me based on the yep. chocolate. A lot of people will have a little bit harder time making a good lemon poppy. You know, based on keto, because I'm going to tell you, I can usually know if it's almond flour, and I don't taste almond flour in that. That's nice. Yeah, so same. It's, so I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is when we get back to from cut down to KetoCon, we'll take one of these, mm -hmm. and maybe we'll do a blood sugar test with one. Good idea. So, yeah. so this way we can give you guys an idea on another flavor. Right. And we'll also test our blood sugar with the allulose. We'll do anything to get more cake yeah. in our body. Okay. So, yeah, tastes really good. At mm -hmm. least this one does yeah. taste really Delicious. good. Delicious. So, number four, how much does it cost? All right. And this is where we crapped all over it without even trying it. we got to stop saying crap. I'm still going to say it's expensive. Okay. But I'm going to say it's expensive if you buy chocolate. I think anybody can make a chocolate mug cake. I'm right. sorry. I do. I think anybody can make a chocolate mug cake. We've shown that. It's super easy to make. But when you get into something like this one, maybe even like this mocha one. Again, we haven't the tried them. Butter. The peanut butter one. Maybe different. Maybe, you know, you would definitely have to change your recipe to not make it like this without the allulose. Mm -hmm. You know, unless you want to go buy allulose, which you can buy. Yeah. It is fairly expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but so the price on this is five packages is $20. So it's $4 a mug cake. $4 a mug cake. Okay. Now, 
I will say that as of the recording of this video, they currently had on their website on sale, and I'll leave a link down in the description where it was $18 for five mug cakes. So that comes out to be what, three sixty something like now that? Now we're in a better neighborhood. It's a little bit better. You know, overall, my thing is you still gotta take into account two tablespoons of butter, and if you're using Kerrygold, yeah. you know, that ups the price a little bit. If you're using pasture-raised eggs like we do, that's another 50 cents. Mm -hmm. So that $4 mug cake is probably closer to $5 now, Yeah. right? So, but again, not a bad treat. This one is really good. I would probably stay away from the chocolate if you're just looking at it cost-wise. Yeah. So number five, would we recommend this? I would absolutely recommend this to somebody who's like maybe on the go. You're traveling, you're going to like a hotel room or why are you looking at me funny? On the go? Traveling? Yes. Like who's traveling with two tablespoons of butter, an egg, a mug, and a microwave? Um, These two crazy ketos? You, like, is there ever been a time where we don't get a hotel room that has a kitchen? I hate it when she's right. It's all the time, right? Um, no, like, we'll get eggs and but butter. But we're weird. I know, but we're not the only weirdos out there. There's other weirdos. Weirdos unite, okay, right? Okay, okay. You're so right. So if you're, if you're um, on the go and you just want to grab this, we can't take our whole pantry with us. Also, what if you are visiting a relative that doesn't have a keto pantry? Now, that's a good point. Right? right? Like maybe you're going to someone's house like, you know, they're having a party. You don't they're not going to have any keto desserts or anything. Bring one of these and just grab a couple <laughs> tablespoons of butter out of their pantry. Isn't that seem a little imposing to be like, "Hey, I brought groceries. Let's Hey, I seem to remember us going to someone's house and watching somebody come in with a bunch of fruit and stuff and saying to the owner, "Can I borrow your blender to make a smoothie?" That's true. We have seen it all, but <laughs> yeah. No, I would for someone on the go. Also, if you don't want to keep around like lots of ingredients to make mug cakes all the time because you're like me and maybe you can't. Well, that's what I was thinking. You know, like control yourself. Just having a couple of pouches. This is, you know, there's three pouches. I can only make three mug cakes. So right. that's, that's what I was thinking. I think it's good for somebody who maybe either A, can't cook or isn't very good at baking um, or be can't just like, themselves. yeah, the same thing. Can't control yourself when you just don't want to have a whole bunch of ingredients because you know you're going to be making a mug cake like every couple hours if you do that. And you just want something like for a quick fix or something like that and just have a few of them. Yeah. I'm thinking they're really good as far as just like an emergency thing. Like even yeah. if you are making your own just once in a while, you know what? I don't want to pull out the almond flour. I don't want to pull out the erythritol and all that stuff and just grabbing one of these pouches. I think they're great gift ideas too. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, so for me, I would recommend it. I have to take out the cost because if you factor the cost, I won't recommend it but because I, I do. It's for me, it's expensive. But for you guys, it may not be expensive. We're a little thrifty. Well, yeah, we're, we're thrifty. Now, we're not cheap because we definitely will spend money. We just spend it where Clearly. we find value. Right. But I know I, I'm good at cooking, mm -hmm. you know? And so I don't find value at a 4 or $5 mug cake. But there are other people who do. Yeah. So I, if I take out the cost, I absolutely 100% recommend it. I probably wouldn't buy a lot because I'm a total carb person. Yeah. And it's a lot of total carbs for me. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people, most people aren't total carb people. That's right. Okay. So I don't have a problem with it. I think it's no. good. I am... Sorry that we crapped all over it Stop before we, you know, before we ever did taste it because it does taste really good. It does, and taste the and good. the ingredients are good. Mm -hmm. It's just expensive in my mind, but again, I think cost is different for everybody. It really is. Okay, it really is. I, I mean, still like will hold fast to probably not for the chocolate. I think chocolate's too easy, but this lemon flavor. I don't know, know if I could make that. If we got our Starbucks bill. Back in the day, like four dollars for a moment wouldn't be it wouldn't be anything. You're absolutely right. Right. Well, let us know down in the comment section if you guys have ever tried this. I saw a few people in like the other video when the keto crate said that they had tried them and they really liked them. Yeah. So let us know down in the comment section. What's your favorite flavor? What's your favorite flavor? Have you tried it? Which flavor would you be interested? I think there's one more. Well, the chocolate flavor that we don't that we got in the keto crate. That's like in the drawer somewhere. Okay. These are the ones she sent us. I do want to say thank you to Matt and Allie for sending these to us. Thank and you, Matt and Having Allie. us give another shot to it or a better opinion on it. Yeah. So. So if you guys like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.